Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever wondered what happens when you mix an airplane and a boat? Well, the answer to that question just hit the water in Rhode Island, and it's not some wacky idea from a science fiction movie. It's the world's first full-scale electric sea glider, and trust me, it's got all the charm of a superhero who can fly, but, you know, also float. This is not a plane, it's not a boat, it's the future of travel, and we're here to talk about it. Before we dive into the techie stuff, let me hit you with the punchline. It flies, it glides, it's electric, and it could be coming to your nearest waterway sooner than you think. Oh, and if you want to see this beauty in action, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the Cool Ideas channel. You won't want to miss out on our deep dives into the latest and greatest in technology. Also, check out the link to the official product website in the description below. Now. Let's get to the real reason you're here, the details. What makes this Sea Glider so special and why should we care? First of all, let's talk about its dimensions. The Sea Glider is no tiny toy. It's a 12-passenger, 55 feet long electric vessel with a wingspan of 65 feet. That's basically the size of a small private plane. Imagine a jumbo jet that decides, you know what, today I'm going to chill on the water. But instead of sitting there like some regular boat, it's doing acrobatic aerial maneuvers on hydrofoils or just cruising along the water with a wingspan. But wait, there's more. The Viceroy prototype, which I believe is the future of electric water travel, can reach up to 180 miles per hour or 156 knots for my nautical enthusiasts with a range of 180 miles, 156 nautical miles on its electric battery. The cool part? Regent, the company behind the Sea Glider, is expecting its next generation batteries to push that range to over 400 nautical miles in the near future. So this thing isn't just a pretty sight, it's practical too. And don't think Regent is just a pipe dream. The company has already secured over 9 billion United States dollars in orders across six continents. Yeah, you heard that right. If that's not enough, they've got some big names backing them, including Mark Cuban, Peter Thiel, and even Lockheed Martin. These guys are serious, and they're building a manufacturing facility in Rhode Island to keep up with demand. So this isn't some concept you'll forget about in a year. It's happening, and it's coming soon. So, would you take a trip on the electric sea glider? Well, I think I would. And with that, my friends, I believe it's safe to say the future of travel is gliding in you might want to start practicing your sea captain impression.